There are four modes of operations for the Lapsis EVO, TGA, DTA, DSC and CP. Here we're gonna show the DTA mode. The first step is to open the head assembly by pressing the left button and using the right side rocker switch to move the assembly up or down. With the head pulled up, we can now see the assembly rod with two crucibles. This is the rod for DTA. Wearing clean gloves, pick up one of the clean pairs of tweezers on the side of the instrument. Brace your hand for added stability. Remove the sample crucible by pinching the top of the crucible wall with the tweezers. The back crucible contains the alumina reference material. Please leave it in place. Move the clean empty crucible to the balance and zero out the balance once the weight stabilizes. Reminder, each sample run in the instrument must be approved by the facility staff. You can now load the sample into the crucible. Be mindful to keep the crucible clean by placing it on a piece of weighing paper. Load the sample carefully using a small spatula. Weigh the loaded crucible to determine the sample mass. Very carefully and gently, place the crucible back in place on the measuring rod. Press the buttons on either side of the instrument to lower the instrument head back down. We now need to zero out the instrument balance. Pull the cover and add or remove weights in the tear pan. The tearing process is slow as the balance needs time to recover. There are two sets of weights to set the balance to zero. Press the cover back in to create a tight seal. We're now done preparing the instrument for the measurement. The teared value is now very small. We now want to set up a run. To do so, we go to the program experiment window. We see a blank experiment listed. We want to add a new zone. Let's add a standard zone. In experiment properties, we can type the name of the sample. In the comments, we add the type of sample we have. Enter the mass measured earlier, and the molar mass, if unknown, you can type one. In the procedure section, you will see the gas is listed as gas one, two, and three. TG range can be large or small, depending on the weight loss expected for your sample. The safety temperature is the temperature at which the system will shut off if there is a mistake. Typically, zone property is left as is. Do not change the PIDU settings. In this table, we can set up our temperature program. We choose our first segment from the list of icons on the left. The shape corresponds to the temperature behavior. Let's pick a temperature ramp. Let's go from 15 degrees to 30 degrees with a scan rate of 0.5 degrees per minute. Since we are using this as a purge step, this will be a purge of 30 minutes. We select the gas, gas one in this case, and set a flow rate of 40 milliliters per minute, which is typical for purging. We can now add our next step. Let's set a final temperature. The temperature and ramp rate can be set to your experimental needs. The maximum ramp rate is 20 degrees per minute. We want to set the gas flow rate for this stage of the measurement at about 20 milliliters per minute. Using the slide bar, reveal the right side of the window and check the automatic tear box. 
always check it to get a tear of the balance before starting the run. At this point, we can start the run by clicking the play button on the top menu. Select the experiment you wish to run. Once the run is started, the instrument will display a glowing red S while the measurement is in progress. At this point you can remove your sample by opening the instrument just like you did when you loaded the instrument initially. Once you have collected the data, you can shrink the window and start the processing step. Open your zone file from the list of files. We have previously analyzed this data set, so some processing already appears when opening the file. On the plot, in green is the mass, in blue is the heat flow. Highlighting it will change the color. At this point, you can access a range of analysis options, for example, baseline and integration, will integrate the peak area. Looking at the mass flow curve, we have access to a different subset of analysis options. We can look at the mass change between the start and end point, providing time and mass difference. The information box can easily be moved around by clicking on it. On the heat flow, we can integrate the area. The microvolt per milligram area can be converted to joules per milligram using a calibration factor available from our facility staff. Once the data is fully analyzed, one can capture the chart to generate a figure in the format of your choice. Save it as a file in your data folder. One can also export a data table by clicking the Data tab and going to File Export Chart Data. A range of export format is available. We typically select Excel format. Again, you can save it in your data folder. Since we are keeping the instrument off the network, please bring a flash drive to take your data with you.